the report wizard gives you a really phenomenal report here in access. So first I'm going to pick my table. I'm going to use the orders table. You don't have to pick your table first, but it makes it a little bit easier. Then I'll pick on the create menu up here, create. And notice where my mouse is going to go. I'm going to go to where it says report wizard. It wants to know the table that you want to use. Notice how it defaults to the table that you chose over here. So that's why I chose that. Otherwise, you can pick your table or query from this list. We'll pick some fields. I'll pick on um, customer ID, order ID, order date, and order amount. You can pick as many fields as you wanted to. I'll pick on next. Now it says, do you want to have a grouping? Make a note to yourself. If you want to have subtotals in your report, you want to have at least one grouping. So I want to subtotal by customer ID. So I'll pick where it says customer ID and I'll pick on the arrow. Notice what happened. The customer ID is now above the other fields. We're going to group it by the customer ID, which means all directions for the same customer will, will be grouped together. That gives us the opportunity to do subtotals. So I'll pick on next. If you wanted subtotals within subtotals, you would have more than one grouping field. Now it is going to group it by the customer ID, but within each customer, I can do a further sort. So let's say we'll sort it by order date for each customer. And I can have up to four sort fields. Now here's a really important one. I'll pick on summary options. I like to sum the order amount field. Notice how I can also do an average, a minimum, maximum, we can show the detail and summary or just the summary only. And we can also show the percent of total. So that's kind of important. I want to tell that I'll do a sum for the order amount. That was the summary options. By the way, if you did not group a field on this previous screen, then it would not show summary options here. So you have to have at least one group to get that option. Pick on next. This is called the report layout. Now you can try these different ones and see which ones that you like. Uh, I think the one that will work the best for us right now is probably block, but you can try these different layouts. I think uh, it'll fit on one page for portrait. Otherwise, I can make it landscape. And then down here, it says uh, adjust the field width so all fields fit on one page. Usually, I will click on that. Click on next. And I'm going to call this uh, orders by customer. That's the name of the report. And I'll pick on finish. So we use the report wizard. And wow, look at this. In about two minutes, I have a beautiful report. Notice how here's each different customer. That's the grouping. Here's all the detail records for that customer. And then we see a nice subtotal. So right away, oh, and if you look really closely, I have the count for each customer as well. That's kind of built right in. I have the count for each customer, the sum, and then the next customer starts. That's what the grouping was all about. Here it says page one of 23. The, the data is over here. I mean, it's a nice looking report. You know, that's the report wizard. I'll go back to, uh, let's keep on going to the next pages and so on. Now let's go to the last page. My last page is over here. And notice on the last page, it has the grand total. Now I noticed that it has the pound signs. Just like in Excel, when you see the pound signs uh, or the hashtags, we want to make that bigger. The way you would do that, I can't do it here. I have to go into design view. If you follow my mouse, I'm going to right click in the tab and I'll pick on design view. Now there's many, many things we can do with this report. You can really customize it to the nth degree, but um, the total for that report will wind up in this section is called the report footer. So I'm going to go to the report footer. Here's where I know the total is right there. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to stretch it out using the sizing handles. Now, there's many more changes that we can make to this uh, report. Uh, maybe we'll have a, we can do a whole hour of power just on the screen at some point if you ever requested that. Um, so anyway, there's many things I can change about this, but um, this is the report that it made when we used the report wizard. To run the report again, I'm going to right click on that tab. I like print preview. So we'll do print preview. That's what, that's the way it's going to look when we print it anyway. So I like print preview. Let's go to our last page. I'm going to click on this arrow. Let's see if the uh, this grand total got bigger. And you can see that it did. So using the report wizard, I was able to make a report with subtotals and grand totals. And the report looks pretty good. 
that's how you can give yourself a great head start for the reports. Then you can always go back to Design View to make specific changes. Here's Design View over there. We're going to close that report. Uh, now, here is Design View anyway. I'll close that window. And of course, we'll save it.